Fences and more, call Wallace and Wallace. Overhead doors installed, just call us 452 2700. Wallace Hey everyone, Curtis from Wallace and Wallace here. Next step to the fence project is installing the mesh. What we're going to do is show you how to hook it up to your terminal posts, how to stretch it, and how to tie it to your top rail and your posts as well. There is a starting point to the mesh. I have taken off the first tie wire just to find my starting point to make sure I am gonna be rolling it in the right direction. Fun fact, Wallace & Wallace is the only manufacturer of chain link here in Manitoba. I do like to keep the ties because as I roll out the chain link mesh, I do like to be able to tie it to our frame loosely just so we don't let the mesh fall over and hold it there until I do my hookup. There's a few things that we're gonna need for this. We need our tension bar, to slide through the mesh, what we're gonna do is take it and slide it through all the back links of the mesh here. So I will be installing the tension band. Do not mix up the center band here with the tension band at the second diamond from the top. Flat side facing out just like we did with our rail ends and set it to where you want it to be. The middle of the diamond is at the middle of the rail. Tightening the top tension band to hold it in place. Now I'm gonna install the other two tension bands. So we're gonna go two from the top for the first one. We're gonna go two from the bottom for the second. And then we're gonna do one right in the middle. Now that I have these tension bands on, I'm gonna tighten them up as well. I'm gonna put a tie on here to set the height just before we roll out the rest of the mesh. So what you're gonna do is take your aluminum tie, link it in under the chain link, fold over the backside, using your pliers, lift it over the top rail and hook it in underneath that bottom link. So what it should look like is a loop behind, hooked underneath, and then once you know that your height is good, you can twist it off, make sure that uh, you got your tie on properly. Tension bar is looking a little bit high to me. You do want it to match the height of the top rail, so I'm gonna knock it down a little bit there. Now it's time to unroll the mesh. Roll it out to the next post. So when we pull the tension out, it's not gonna fall over on us over there. All right, I'm gonna take the tie wire we took off the roll earlier. I'm just gonna pull out some tension on this wire and tie it in place here. Now that we're at the corner post here, what we're gonna wanna do is pull out the tension from the mesh the whole way here. So what I like to do is grab my back hand here, get uh, a hand up front here. I use my thumb or so. I'm gonna pull the mesh and find that nice tension point for myself. Now that tension feels pretty good to me. So what we're gonna do is, I know that I'm gonna be putting my tension bar here. We're gonna need to take this link out. It's quite simple. You could just unclip it. Now with no tension yet, we're gonna be able to just weave this out. There you are. I'm gonna slide my tension bar through the mesh here. I'm gonna establish the height I want and use this tool, the pull jack, right in the middle there. There's other ways you could do it. You could put a tension bar a little bit further back around here, use a ratchet strap or a couple of ratchet straps and tighten it here if you don't have the right tools or you can have somebody else help you pull it along and hold it in place when you are tightening it. Starting from the top one, go two diamonds down flat side of the nut facing outwards. Make sure you have the right spacing in between. There you have it. Our first section of fence is complete. What I'm gonna do is do that final height check like we did on the other side. Tap this tension bar down, put it on the tie, just like we talked about before. Wrapping it underneath and securing it to the top rail. Once I know my height is set and good, I'm gonna tighten up my nuts and bolts. One thing I did wanna mention about getting that tension, what you are looking for is basically you take one hand and squeeze the mesh together. You wanna see a little bit of flex in there, but not too much. You don't wanna be able to pull them right tight together. Um, you also don't want it to be so tight. If you tighten it too much, you're actually gonna shrink the height of the fence and these diamonds are no longer gonna be a diamond, more of a rhombus shape. I did leave these ties on for the time being. Now that it is tight, you can cut them off. Next step I'm gonna show you is how to tie up the mesh to the frame. 
We're gonna start with our top rail. Same way I showed you before, you're gonna to wanna to hook that aluminum tie underneath, fold it over backwards. And what I'm gonna do is fold it over the top rail. I'm gonna pull down a little bit with my pliers and lift up with my other hand. Hold it with my hand, wrap the tie, just like I showed you before. I'm gonna do that to the other side of the post here as well. Now we have our height. What we're gonna to wanna to do is tie down the post. You're gonna to wanna to put a tie everywhere there's a tension band. So around the second diamond, from the top, around the second diamond from the bottom, one right in the middle. You're gonna to wanna to make the same kind of loop as you did before. Go around the post, have it hold there. You can bend it with your fingers if you need to. I prefer using pliers. I figure that you get more secure and you could twist it one or two extra times. There you are. You wanna make sure that your ties are tied. There's a front and a back to the mesh. And what I mean by that is this link is further back than this link. So we're going to want to always tie on the back link. That way it doesn't obstruct anything that would be going into it like a privacy strip. What you're going to want to do is tie each post like this and then put ties along the top rail in between each post. We do four per section. So I'm going to show you what that looks like quickly. Might be handy to count them out. Two, four, six, eight. That's where you're going to want to put your next tie. Now what you want to do is link in the bottom wire. Take your one hand without your pliers in it, pull up on the bottom wire. You're going to want to open up the link with your pliers, close it over. I like to do about five along the bottom. Once again, lift up on that bottom wire, fold it over. Here we are at the end of our roll. One roll is 50 feet. At the end of every roll, you're going to have one link. What we're going to need to do is use this individual link to hook up to the chain link. What you need is a half a link and a full link in order for it to weave together correctly. I'm gonna feed it in through the full diamond to the half diamond. Just gonna get it through that first full diamond into the second, and we're just gonna weave it down. I open up my links with my pliers there. And if you go to the bottom, you can see you wanna make sure it's connected right in the bottom link there. I'm gonna feed it through, fold it over. All right, so in this instance, because we are working in a corner, what I'm gonna do this time, which I didn't do the first time, is hook up two pull jacks. And the reason is I'm the one who's doing the connection. I won't have access to the other side to remove the pull jack, so I'm just gonna start off with two. A little bit different this time around. Because we do have bands here already, what I personally like to do is match the height of the band. So I don't necessarily go in that second diamond as you would before. Because this is the higher top rail, I'm just gonna go above this band. And it happens to end up in the two diamonds and a half down. So same thing for this one. Final step, tighten them up. In this video, we covered doing our hookups for the mesh, tightening the mesh, and tying it to our frame. Now that the fence is secure, we're ready to go on to the final step that's hanging our gate.